wet. It is very, very wet. But I've got to make the most of my time here, so we move on. I'm currently in Arashiyama, uh, north east of Kyoto. Um, here for the bamboo forest and some temples and then we'll see where we go from there. It is currently pissing it down. Um, so yeah, I'm about to walk through the forest now. Um, fingers crossed it will protect me from the rain a little bit. Outfit today is keeping me relatively dry. Uh, as you can see. <laughs> Pretty fucking wet. Heading up the hill now, there's a couple more temples and then if the weather's not horrendous we might walk up to see the gorge. It's at the top of the hill but I don't know man, <laughs> I kind of want to get back somewhere warm. I'm currently walking through this lovely old village to get to the temple. I don't know what period it is but there are houses that have to pass through. Uh, it's really interesting to see because I don't think England you do see those occasionally, but it's nice to see that tradition's being kept in the middle part as well, aren't they? The rain has stopped, thankfully. Uh, I'm just going to walk to this area that says on the map is Preserve Street. Uh, so I imagine that some traditional shops and stuff, which would be nice. We just met a bloke called Hero. Uh, he was very nice to me. We had a <laughs> conversation using Google Translate and broken English, which uh, it's always nice that we can communicate. Uh, thank God for Google Translate because I know almost no Japanese whatsoever. Uh, so here, if you're watching this, shout out to you, uh, thank you very much, <laughs> taught me a lot, little bit about the area, so uh, hopefully we'll get to see a bit more today, now the rain's stopping, well, it's not big, it's, uh, it's been nowhere near as bad as it was. <laughs> Hopefully the rain stopped, so we can probably spend some more time out before I head back and get dry. This place is absolutely crazy. Like, 
I'm sure we'd like to wear that. I think it would be a lot more enjoyable. Um, I know we have a joint room. Uh, there is not much going on. Um, but it's probably also because it's the off season at the moment. Uh, I imagine doing cherry blossom season, which is like just over a month away. This place is absolutely round. Um, heading down now. That's my cafe on my hair, I'll probably start to see if we'll get a nice coffee. And then, we know what we're doing the rest of the afternoon. <laughs> I found out there's a monkey park nearby, so I'm gonna head to that now. Check that out, see what it's like. Turn a corner and there'll be a temple you didn't know existed. Um, this one's free, thankfully. Um, a lot of them do charge to get in, but they are very nicely kept. Uh, keep a piece of history. Uh, and this one has an old restaurant attached to it. Um, I believe it's one of those buildings over there. Um, it's just fascinating to see that all this still remains. Um, I mean, I know it's like, ooh, church, but in Japan, because uh, we have a lot of old church in England too. Um, but it's, you know, it's not something that you see every day, an old Buddhist temple. Um, so it's nice to come and see them. Always really peaceful too. Uh, Shit, it's so well preserved. Well that sucks. Just walk to the best convenience. <laughs> Struggle with it. Just walk to the best convenience in Japan. I am, as Ludwig says, lost some pills and it's closed. Don't want to damn it. This is my first time doing this. So I really hope the audio is good. Um, I do have a mic, just put it to be on today. Uh, so if the audio is not great. And hopefully tomorrow will be better. Do you just feel a bit awkward talking in public here? Everyone is quite reserved. And it's a little loud guy to disrupting everyone's peace. And also, he's not quite used to it yet, you know? And I am self conscious about this sort of stuff. I mean, most people are when they start out, so, you know, hopefully things will just get better from here. I do really want to stick to this, you know? It's a fun way of showing what I do, even if I'm the only one who ever watches it again. It's uh, be a nice record of the year that I'm embarking on. And then who knows, maybe we'll see more after that.
So, uh, <coughs> just climbed my ass down from the monkey park. It was a trek up and a trek down as well, but it was worth it. The monkeys were pretty cool, they were <laughs> pretty boisterous, pretty noisy, but the view was insane. Great view of Kyoto, so well worth the pain to get up there. Um, turns out I'm actually near the train station now, so no tram. So it's a faster journey home and it's cheaper, so yeah, it works for me. Uh, definitely gonna head back now. Uh, put my feet up, do a bit of editing, chill out before trying to find somewhere for dinner tonight. I don't really know what I fancy. Um, I'll have a look. Uh, and then I'll let you know what the plan is later on. I just got back to the hotel room. I treat myself, got myself a hotel room for my bit in Kyoto. Been living out of bag in hostel bunk beds for over a month now, almost two months. Uh, and I felt like shit before <laughs> getting here. Uh, came down with something, thankfully it wasn't COVID. Um, so I got myself a pretty nice hotel room. Well, <laughs> pretty nice for my budget <laughs> um, so yeah gonna get some work done now and then we'll uh, catch up afterwards uh, see what we're getting for dinner so after a good few hours of editing uh, still learning the editing software that I'm using uh, first time using it uh, it's currently uh, 9 o'clock and I'm still going. So uh, for dinner I just popped to 7-Eleven to get some yakisoba. Um, so I'm going to eat that and carry on editing. Uh, but I will sign off here and I will see you tomorrow.